Hi, I'm Mrs. D Math. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to cover rational numbers, including sets and subsets, in seventh grade math. Let's get started. So you probably recognize this Venn diagram from sixth grade. And in sixth grade, typically we just start with whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Now we're going to include in those whole numbers, there's also what we would call natural numbers. So a natural number is a counting number, which means it's going to start with one. So one is going to be our first counting number, two, three, four, five, six hundred and twenty and so on. So any number you would say while you're counting anything would be considered a natural number. The next one in the Venn diagram is whole numbers. Whole numbers include these counting numbers and the number zero. So zero would be considered a whole number. Now that means one, 620, and any other natural numbers, which you would use when you count, would also be considered a whole number. But the only whole number that's actually listed in the whole number category when we have natural numbers in our Venn diagram is the number zero. Then we have our integers. Integers are whole numbers and they're opposites. So Again, natural numbers, whole numbers, those are also considered integers. So you can see here, as we start in the middle of the Venn diagram and start to work our way out, everything in the center circle in our natural numbers is actually considered everything going outside of the circle. So it's included in all of these other categories. So an integer is, like I said, a natural number and a whole number, but it's also the opposite. So this is where we get into the number line that is either to the left or below zero, which would be your negative numbers. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative 525. But any number that is technically a natural number or a counting number, and its opposite, which means the negative of that number, plus the number zero. These are all considered your integers. Then in the outside circle of our Venn diagram, we have our rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a over b, which is a fraction. a and b are integers, and b cannot equal zero. So we cannot have zero in the denominator of our fraction. But any fraction or decimal that is a recognizable fraction. In eighth grade, you'll get into irrational numbers, which is a different type of decimal. So these are specific decimals that you recognize and work with on a daily basis in math. They're going to be anytime we turn a fraction into a decimal that is considered a rational number. So examples of that could be 1 half, 3.25. This would also include mixed numbers. So 3.25 could also be written 3 and 1 fourth. You could have a negative 40 over 3 improper fractions. Those are also included in rational numbers. Now we did say that natural numbers, whole numbers, integers are also all considered rational numbers. So in order to write what we would consider a natural number or a whole number into a fraction, we would just need to put that number so let's start with 620. So if I put the number 620 over one, but since a fraction is division, if we were to divide 620 by one, it would equal 620. So we don't need that one in the denominator, but that's how we can make it look like a fraction. And you can do that with any number. We could also use an integer. So I could put negative three over one, that equals negative three, so it doesn't change the value but it is written as a rational number, which is in fraction form. So that is something you can use going forward anytime you have to multiply with a whole number or divide with a whole number and you're multiplying or dividing by another fraction. You would just put that number over one to make it in fraction form, but not change the value. So let's go ahead and try some of these numbers. So I have a list of numbers here and we're gonna put each one of them into the correct category that it needs to go in. So if we go to the number four, four is a natural number because if I'm counting one, two, three, four, four is a number that I would say. Zero, zero is the one that is your whole number, but it is not a natural number. So zero goes in the whole number category. Negative 82. 
negative 82 is an integer, and because it is an integer whole number, we're going to put that in the integer category. One fourth is a fraction, so that fraction is going to go into our rational numbers. I can also write that as a decimal, 0 0.25. So 21 over 7, I do need to put these in simplest form, and if I were to divide 21 by 7, because it is a fraction, I would get the number 3. So because that is a natural number, 21 over 7 goes in the natural number category. 0 0.5 is a decimal, that would be a half, so that goes into my rational numbers. Negative 35 over 5. Again, I need to simplify this, and negative 35 divided by 5 is negative 7. So that would end up being an integer. Then I have negative 3 and a quarter, or negative 3.25. So that's going to go into the rational number. Even though it is a negative, it includes a decimal. So that goes into the rational number. And the number 625. 625 is actually a number I would say if I was counting. So that is going to end up being a natural number. So really the sets and subsets are going to include your rational numbers and then everything below that. So natural numbers would be incorporated in all categories. Whole numbers, zero, is going to be in your whole number category and also integers and rational numbers. Your integers are your negative whole numbers and those are also considered rational numbers. And then your rational numbers, your negative and positive fractions and decimals are only in the rational numbers category. I hope this video helps understand rational numbers with their sets and subsets a little better. If you need something a little bit simpler, you can go and watch the sixth grade rational numbers video. And if you need something more advanced, you can always watch the eighth grade real numbers video. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mrs. D Math. And this has been Rational Numbers, Sets and Subsets in 7th Grade Math. Have a great day. Bye.